Today, I'm cheating in a Deadpool build challenge against my friend. But I can cheat using Slash Slash Superhero, which lets me turn this painting into a huge build. Doesn't this look amazing, guys? What's taking you so long? Let's start this build. Uh oh, guys, I have to delete this build so that my friend doesn't see it. There we go. Okay, let's go back down to the middle. Oh, Pip. Holy, we you took forever. Are you ready for this Deadpool build challenge? Of course I am. All right, all right. Well, I'm going to start building in no! All right, Pip. Okay, guys, now that Pip is on his side, it's time for me to get this huge Deadpool build. But first, I need to make a painting of Deadpool. So I'm going to use this canvas, and I'm going to paint a picture of Deadpool. So, guys, Deadpool is really easy to draw. You just have to draw a big red circle for his head. Then he has a red body. So let's draw some red coming down here. And then we have to draw his legs. So I'm going to draw his legs coming down like this. But, guys, Deadpool doesn't just look all red. He has a lot of black straps on his body. So he has a few on his legs like this. He even has a black belt that he wears. And not to mention, he also has some red on the suit that he wears. So I'm going to draw it kind of like this and then fill it all in. And there we go, guys. This Deadpool is starting to look really accurate. But we need to draw some other things, like the belt that he has going across his chest for his guns. Then Deadpool has these black shoulder pads that he wears. So I'm going to put on these black shoulder pads on each side. And then finally, I need to draw his red arms. So I'm just going to draw them coming out to the side like this. And then like this on the other side too. Guys, comment down below if you think my Deadpool drawing is going to look amazing once it comes to life. But anyways, we have to go ahead and draw the rest of the things on Deadpool. Like the black that he has on his face like this and this. And right now, this is kind of looking like Spider-Man. But don't worry, guys. I'll make it look like Deadpool. I just need to go ahead and add a little area where his nose is. And then finally, I need to add his white eyes. And they are kind of like this. And there we go, guys. I think my Deadpool drawing is looking really good. But there's two more things that he has. He has two swords that come off of his back. So I'll put a sword over here and here. Then I'll just draw the blade of the sword coming out on either side. One over here and one over here. There we go, guys. My Deadpool is now complete. Let's go ahead and put this drawing down and use slash slash superhero. So I just have to type it in like this. And boom! Look at that, guys. My Deadpool drawing came to life. I literally have a huge build of Deadpool. But guys, it's not only the outside of the build that I need to focus on. I also need to build some Deadpool related traps on the inside of this build to confuse my friend Pip. So let's go ahead and start on the first trap. I have an idea. Just like Deadpool, I'm going to make a trap that makes you invincible and then puts you in lava. So watch this. I'll first start by building a lava pool. Just like this. I'll just put a bunch of lava inside of it. Like that. Now, guys, I need to go ahead and give Pip regeneration. That will make sure he never dies. Just like Deadpool. So I'm going to add a command block right over here. And inside of the command block, I'm going to go ahead and put Pip's effect to give him regeneration a million. And guys, when he steps on this pressure plate that I'm going to hide right here, he will get regeneration and never be able to die in the lava. But I want to make sure he can never get out of the lava pit so he's stuck inside dying. So what I'm going to do is give myself some barrier blocks just like these. And guys, in Minecraft, barrier blocks are invisible. So you cannot even see them. Look, I can see them like these red stop signs, but if I put it away, watch what happens. They all slowly disappear Whoa! until I can't even see them anymore. But to make Pip want to go into this lava pit, I have an idea. I'm going to put a bunch of diamonds right here.
here. And he is totally going to want them all. Because Pip loves it when he has a ton of money. So I'll just put tons of diamonds right down like this. And there we go. Now Pip will try to jump over to the diamonds and totally get stuck. But now, guys, let's make another side over here. I want to make it look just like the mm. other side. Because that is technically going to be a fake entrance. This side is going to be a real entrance. And it's going to look just like the other side. Except I'm going to put fake lava in the floor. So that if you get trapped inside of it, you won't die. I'll show you how it works. If I just put a bunch of fake lava on the ground, it looks just like real lava. But if I go into survival mode and step inside, I will never die. It's amazing. But now, guys, let's go ahead and make the next trap. If Pip gets through this room, he will totally want to get to some kind of loot. Just like over here with the diamonds. So I have an idea. Once he gets through this fake lava, I'm going to add some diamond ore. But not any regular time type of diamond ore, guys. I'll put diamond ore mines right over here, which means when Pip touches them, he will get blasted sky high. So there we go. Let me just show you how these work, guys. If I put any mob like a villager onto these diamond ore mines, they will blow up. And that is exactly what will happen to Pip when he touches those. Guys, if you think Pip is totally going to die to this trap, then make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be adding so many more cool ones. Ones. Just like this next room, I'm going to make sure that there is an obsidian wall just so that these diamonds cannot blow anything up. So let's just put the wall right here and let's make it so that to get over this wall, Pip has to find a secret way in. And I know how. I'm going to get a secret ladder like this and I'll just put it in this corner. So guys, as you can see, it kind of just looks like there's a bunch of obsidian there. But if I walk inside of it, I can climb up the blocks. It's insane. Pip will never expect that. But now let's make another room that's inside of Deadpool's leg. And I know exactly what to build. I'm going to put a bunch of fans in here. Just like these gold fans. And I'm going to put some real lava on the ground. Just like this. Now, what Pip will have to do is use these fans to blow himself up into the air all the way up Deadpool's legs. And if he is not careful, he might fall back down into the lava. So Pip has to be really good at flying up into the air. He's kind of like an astronaut. But let's just keep putting fans going all the way up to the top. And I think that should work pretty well. I can't just make it this easy for Pip. It's going to be way too easy. He'll just make it all the way to the top in an instant. So I think what I'm going to do is use some ghost blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and make some fake fans that go up to the top. So Pip will try to land on some of them and just fall through them into the lava. He's going to have to keep guessing or else he might I just die. But there we go, guys. Once Pip makes it all the way up here to the top, I will go ahead and make it so he can go into another room, which will be all the way up here, right at the top of Deadpool's legs. So let's add in the next room now, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and replace all the air with red blocks, just like this. Now Pip will be able to get into this room nice and safely, and I need to make sure he doesn't fly away. So I'll put some red wall on the top here. Next, guys, I'm going to add a glass wall that Pip will won't be able to get through. So I'll just put it all the way over here. This means that whatever is in this room over here, he will have to go ahead and face. So I have an idea on what to make Pip face and it's going to be super deadly, guys. I'm going to make him fight a mob just like this one right here. This deadly frost mob! And the worst part is all I'm going to give Pip is a katana or Deadpool's katana. So I'm going to give that to him in an item frame. But in order to get the katana, he's going to have to come to this side of the room and grab it. So let's see if Pip could do that, guys. But once he beats this frost mall, I will put this glass wall down and allow him to move on to the next trap, which I'm going to call the Deadpool Dropper. I'm going to make it so that there's water all the way down here at the bottom of this Deadpool build with some spikes going all around it. And what Pip is going to have to do is jump all the way down and not die in the these spikes. Hopefully, he will die a lot, though. Just like Deadpool in all of his movies. 
So let's also add some spikes all around this leg so that if Pip drops onto one of these side blocks, he will not survive. He will definitely die no matter what. Pip is not invincible like Deadpool. Guys, Deadpool is my favorite superhero, mainly because he is red. But guys, who is your favorite superhero? Comment down below and I'll pin your comments if I think you're right. But here we go. As you can see, I've now got all of these spikes going down Deadpool's legs. If you mess up a single spot, then you will land in the spikes and die. But now, guys, I think my Deadpool dropper is completed. Let me go ahead and see if I can do it. So I'm just going to fall all the way down and try and land in the water and whoa! I was so close! That was really hard. But guys, once Pip gets to the bottom, I'm going to put a command block that will teleport him all the way back up to the top to give myself more room to build more traps. So I'll just put this button on top of this command block and let's find where we want to teleport Pip to. So I'm going to go all the way up here and oh, I know. I'm going to put him on a small glass platform right over here. So now I put the command in the command block and boom! Now it teleports me all the way up here, guys. This is amazing! But my next trap needs to be really, really deadly and I know exactly what to make it. I'm going to make a Squid Games glass bridge challenge. So some of these glass blocks are going to be real, like these ones, and some of them are going to be fake. So if I jump on this one, I'll fall all the way down into that deadly frost maw. And guys, the only way I will be able to see what the right blocks are is by putting these goggles on. And as you can see, the fake blocks are highlighted. So I'm going to show you guys the right way to go. You will have to go right, like this, right, left, and left. If you go any other blocks, you will fall to your death. But let's just add a ton of these jumps just to confuse Pip. My friend Pip is going to freak out. He's not going to know how to get past this room. But there we go. He will have to go from this side all the way to the other side. But once he gets there, I'll let him climb up a ladder into the next room. So let's just get a bunch of ladders and place them going up to the top. But now, guys, I'm going to make the next room now. Let me just replace all of the floor with red like this. And now the next room is going to be a really good one. Let me show you how to build it. So I'm going to set the walls to red wool. And in this room, I'm going to put a laser inside. So I'll put it right here, coming out of the wall, just like that. And what Pip is going to have to do is dodge all of these lasers. I'm going to put them on the walls, coming from the roof, and it's going to be just like the Matrix. He's going to have to dodge a bunch of deadly lasers everywhere. So I'll put them all throughout this room, just like this. But now, guys, I'll make it so that Pip will have to parkour all the way to the end of this room to get a chest, which will have a mirror inside. And if you guys didn't know, with these mirrors, you can reflect lasers around like this. I'll show you right now. And boom, look, I'm reflecting this laser. But what Pip is going to have to do is reflect this laser over here into a laser catcher, which will open a door to get him to the next room. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. I'll make it so one, he has to go to get that chest, but then he has to come back and do the whole thing again. So I'm going to add that laser catcher right now, guys. Let me show you how to do it. I'll just set the floor to red blocks again. Then I will put a door right over here. It will be an iron door so that Pip won't be able to open it with his hands. But then I will get a laser catcher. And if you put a laser into this, guys, you can open the door. So I'll show you. If I put a redstone block here and a laser, it opens that door. So Pip will have to reflect that laser coming through this glass over here all the way over there. But I'm not going to make it that easy for him. I'm going to put a bunch of blocks blocking the way. So Pip will have to reflect the laser in the right direction to get it to go anywhere. So I'm going to make a really annoying laser maze that will really annoy Pip. So I'll just do this and then I'll do this and then I'll do this and then boom. Now Pip will have to try and reflect that laser around this little room. But once he does it, he'll reflect it into this door, open it, and be able to go to the next room. So I'm just going to put some more ladders that will take you all the way up. But guys, the next trap is going to be in Deadpool's arms over here. I'm going to get a bunch of spikes and more lasers. And I'm going to make it so that Pip will have to dodge more spikes and more lasers all the way down Deadpool's arms. So let me just put spikes absolutely everywhere. I need to make this really, really annoying for Pip. So I'll just place a 
some all around uh, until the bottom. So now there's a lot of spikes that people have to dodge around this room. But I want more. So I'm going to place more and more and more. So people actually have to jump over some of the spikes. But there we go, guys. I think this should be pretty good. Let's just go ahead and add those lasers I said I was going to add now. So I'll put one on the wall here. One on the wall here. One right in the middle going to the roof. And boom, look at this. But now right at the end of Deadpool's arm, I'm going to add a laser wall. And it's going to block Pip's way. And he's going to have to walk straight through it. Which means if he's on low health, he will die. But once Pip gets to the end of Deadpool's arm, I'm going to make it so that Pip will gain the power of flying. So I'll put a chest right here with an elytra inside of it. So I'll just type in elytra and boom. Now let's just put it in this chest. But we're also going to give Pip a few rockets too so that he will be able to fly all the way to the top of my Deadpool. But guys, what I'm going to have Pip do is grab this elytra, put it on, and then fly all the way to the top of this Deadpool build. Just like this. He's going to go flying up into the air. And there is going to be a target right on the top of Deadpool's head where people have to land. So let's go ahead and build it. To build a target, all I have to do is just build a block right here. Then some white wool going around like this. And then a little bit more red so that Pip knows exactly where to land. So let's just put it up here and boom. Now there's a target right on the top of Deadpool where people have to land on top. But once Pip gets to the top of my Deadpool build, Build, I am going to give him some diamonds so that he will be super duper happy. So let's go ahead and just build a platform to put the diamonds on. This is just so that they don't fall off of Deadpool's head and land on Pip's head. Then I'll stand right in the middle here and run this command. Pyramid, diamond blocks, and then five. Now guys, look at that. I have a huge diamond pyramid right on top of Deadpool's head. Hopefully Pip won't make it there though. He's going to be terrible. There's no way that he can even beat my Deadpool build. All right, guys. Let's go see if Pip is ready. Oh, did you say it oh, oh, my gosh, Pip. You scared me. Well, I heard that you were ready to see my epic Deadpool. Oh, yeah, totally. But, uh, wait, Pip, what is this? Um, did you just ignore what I just said? It's Deadpool. Uh, I think Deadpool has been eating away too many donuts. Uh, what? His legs so fast. Don't oh, make fun of him. He really loves a little Debbie. Guys. Uh -huh. Okay, and wait, Pip. Why does he have a weird-looking mouth? Mm. What did you do to Deadpool? You turned him not into Deadpool, but Dadpool. He looks like he eats fifteen thousand donuts on the daily. Whoa, Louis, no, no, no. This is normal. See, Deadpool is from Canada, and everyone from Canada looks like. I think you're kind of right. But anyways, Pip, enough about the outside of your build. Have you been working on the inside? Why, of course I have. Come on, Louie. Go through the door and come on uh, in. All right then, Pip. Okay, I went into survival mode. Let me just walk into your Deadpool and... Whoa! <gasps> what was that? One death for Louie. What? You totally killed me. No, no, no. There has to be a better way. Maybe I can close this door and then jump over. And ow! Oh, I still fell down. But I'm not dead. Oh, well, now you will be sorry. Wait, what? Oh! Pip, I'm still not dead. Oh, well, I guess you'll just stay down there forever. No! Oh, Pip, I got out of that hole. But it's not that entrance. That is not the way in. Well, where is Hmm. Wait, what? Do you not even know yourself? Uh, I do know where the right entrance is. <laughs> oh, it's that door right there. Oh, thanks for telling me, Pip. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I was going to fall into the lava. That gave me a heart attack. <laughs> well, I guess it's not this entrance since there's clearly lava there. No, Pip, it definitely is. I walked over the lava and I didn't fall. What is even going on here? Oh, man, Louie, I don't know you are a genius. Uh, Pip, how did you do this? Just a little bit of magic. Okay, well, I'll just keep walking now and... Oh, no, is this a question room? Of course it is. And we are going to start with what is Deadpool's real name? Well, it's Deadpool, isn't it? Nope, he has a real name. Like how Spider-Man's real name is Peter Parker, Deadpool's real name is... Uh, well, if Peter Parker... 
Peter starts with a P. Parker starts with a P. Wade starts with a W. And Wilson starts with a W. So it has to be Wade Wilson. Let me in here. Oh, I didn't think you would get that right. I thought you would choose the Denver Broncos quarterback, Zachary Wilson. All right. Well, Pip. Anyways, it's time for the next question. When did Deadpool first appear? Uh, March 1993 or December 1990? Why is Deadpool so old? Oh, Deadpool is a very old man. But let's see. Is he older or younger than you think? Mm, well, comic books were only printed in color a while back. And uh, self-healing people only came out in 1993. So I'm going through 1992. Hey! That would be correct. If you were trying to get the question wrong. Oh, are you kidding me, Pip? Oh, well, it's fine. Look, I can just go through December 1990. I didn't know Denver was so old. He's like my grandpa. Yeah, that means he is a hundred years old. That's crazy. Yeah, but wait, you know what else is crazy? The fact that you think Deadpool comes from what, the DC Universe? Bro, he is from the Marvel Universe! No, Louis, think about it. Deadpool is the president, so he might be from Washington, D.C. No! <laughs> the Pip, that's not the right kind of DC. DC stands for don't see, because Deadpool does not see the DC Universe. I don't know what that logic means, but sure, Louis, go through the Marvel door and... And prepare to fall in the lava. Well, Deadpool's <laughs> from Marvel because he's marvelous. And look, Pip, I got the question right. Oh, man. All right, but what is the next trap that you're having me do? What is this? Fence parkour? Yeah, but this is not just any normal fence parkour. This is a squid game's parkour. Meaning one of these fences is real and one of them is fake. You mean this one? I, I picked up a ghost block, Pip. It was this fence. Hey, no, that's cheating. Put that back. So I guess this was the right jump, but let's see. Can I pick up any more? I don't know. Let me jump to this one. And it was fake. But Pip, why is there a lever right here? Uh, no reason. Get back to the sky! All right, fine, fine, fine. Let me climb back up here, and I'll go do the jumps again. So I'll do this one, then this one, and then I'll skip the last one. Woohoo! And... Ah! Oh, 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 I saw the lava. Hi, I saw my life flash before my eyes, Pip. Oh, wait, why are you so dumb? I don't know, Pip. Ask my mother. All right, Pip. I can do this this time. I'll jump to this one. Then, oh, no. Which one was it? This one. And then the, the red block. Okay, perfect. I got to cross your little ghost block parkour. Good job, Louie. Now, for this ladder jump, I want you to really think which one of these ladders is more likely to be a fake Well, one. Pip, I already know. I jumped on that ladder and fell into some lava, but it wasn't real lava. But that lava there mustn't be able to kill me because this ladder is real! Oh, you're such a genius sometimes, Louis. Oh, I thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're going to have to be a super Einstein genius if you want to figure out where the correct lever to open Bruh. that little door and bring you to my chest. Well, let me just flick all of these levers on, and hopefully one of them will work. I'll just flick every single one in order, and it doesn't seem like any of them are working yet. Pip, are you sure any of these levers even work? One of them! Uh, well, Pip, I flicked every single one, and nothing happened! Sounds like a personal problem. Oh, there has to be something here. Maybe I can climb up here? Uh, uh, no, it's not working, but wait a second. There was a lever in the other room! Sorry, Louie, I can't hear you over my vacuuming! Oh, you vacuum up there, Pip, but I found the lever. Now I just have to redo your parkour so I don't die. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 and then this ladder. Okay, let's... Let's climb up here and let me through the door. Oh, fine, you win the grand prize. What do you think is the grand prize? Oh, well, it's probably something really cool like diamonds or or a lifetime trip or maybe even you're going to retire me. You're going to give me all your oh, money. No, it is something even better. A lifetime supply of... Seeds! Yeah. Your favorite. Oh, bro, are you kidding me? I don't even want seeds. You know what? I'm taking this chest. I'm taking this chest right here. Let me let me take that. Thank you. And I'm throwing it out the window because I don't even want it. Oh, well, more seeds for me. Yeah, you enjoy those seeds, Pip. But no amount of seeds will save you from my Deadpool build. Oh, come on, Louie. Your Deadpool build is probably super duper small. Uh, yeah, Pip. It's probably just like yours, but even smaller. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be like two blocks tall. <laughs> well, how about you turn around and have a look then, Pip? It's, it's right behind you. All right. Three, two, one. Wow! Holy moly macaroni. It's the size of the Empire State Building. Yeah, Pip. 
that is my Deadpool build. What do you think? How you build all of this? This is absolutely huge. Oh, well, Pip, it's because I'm a uh, pro Minecraft builder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. But why did you build these dirty statues with <laughs> this drawing? Uh, no reason. No reason. That's 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 uh, that's for display only. Oh, so so that's for display. What is this? Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! Nope, you're not allowed to look oh, at that one. Okay. Not allowed to look at that one. I, I saw a Hulk right there. This is not a Hulk, so I'm guessing you got distracted while building. Wait a second! You just drew Deadpool, and this dude looks almost identical to that drawing. Oh, it, it's just a. Uh, it, it was just practice. Yeah, I wanted to draw Deadpool so that I had something to look at for when I built it. Oh, how trash is this time, Louis? But anyways, if you took so much time building this, you probably have zero traps inside. Yeah, actually, I didn't have enough time to build any traps, so the prize room is right there. All you have to do is stand on this command block and then jump through the lava to All get right, it. let's just see what's inside of this command block and, oh, it won't let me see the command, but I'll trust you, Louis. Cannonball! And regeneration. Now I can swim through this lava and go, go, go. Wait, oh, well, why is the lava killing me? <laughs> Louie, what happened? <laughs> oh, no, Louie, that's not going to stop me from getting these diamonds. Come on. Um, Pip, you're totally going to die now. And uh, you know what? Nope, you're not nope, taking nope. any damage. How do I get out of here? How do we get these diamonds? Well, sorry, buddy. You're not going to get any. You're like Deadpool. I have trapped you inside of a lava pit. So you just take damage and damage, and you're never going to escape. I don't want to be like Deadpool. Louis. Come on, please help me out. Yeah, Pip, not everybody wants to live forever. But you know what? I'll help you out. I'll hit you with the slash kill command. Boop! Wait, no! Well, if that was not the right way to the diamonds, maybe there is another shortcut. I found it! Yeah, they're just over there, Pip. You just have to carefully parkour around these bits of lava. And then just go get your diamond prize. Oh, boy. I'm going to get these diamonds and... <laughs> Oh, this was the easiest Deadpool build ever, Louie. Thank you so much! <laughs> I didn't think it would kill you that quickly! No, 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 you must have put a TNT in there. I still see the diamonds. Now I can get them even easier. Sorry, Louie. <laughs> You're broke! Uh, Pip, it seems like you're the broke one. You just died! Oh, man, are you telling me none of those diamonds are real? Nope, Pip, none of those diamonds are real. Here, let me prove it to you. Let me just uh, give you one. Boom! Holy wait, you need to stop killing me. This is way too mean! What do you mean, Pip? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Boom! Your base that doesn't involve exploding TNT. Oh, well, let me help you out, buddy. I'm going to give you a staircase inside. This way you won't die again. There you go. Finally. Now it looks like I just have to do some fan parkour to get to the top. All right, well, go for it, buddy, and be careful. Ah! Some of the fans aren't real. You can make fake fans. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yes, you can, buddy. And the crazy thing is they still move. Oh, this is a very fiery Come on, you third time's a charm. Let's do this, baby! Okay, go ahead, Pip. You got this, buddy. Just uh, make sure you don't die on the fans again. Don't worry, I never die. But luckily, you built this Deadpool so easily. I can just walk like right All in. right, well, go on then, Pip. Be careful not to fall. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, well, Pip, you're going to need the fans there to blow yourself to the top. And uh, be careful. There's something evil in there. There's nothing evil in here, Louie. It's just a bunch of glass and spikes. Hey, nope, nope. Get in there. No! What is this? A frost <laughs> Oh! Yeah, Pip, you're going to need a better weapon than whatever you've got. So look around the room. No, there's nothing here. But wait, what is this? Is it Katana? Oh, yeah! Pip, you need to stop dying. Fight the frost wall. Don't worry. I am an expert fighter, just like Deadpool. All right. Well, uh, it doesn't seem like you're doing much damage to this thing. Yes, I am. Come on, frost wall. It is time to meet your baker. Oh, meet your baker? What do you mean, meet your baker, Pip? Ah! 
Come on, babe. You've died four times. Just kill it. He's going to meet the baker because the baker is going to make his get well soon cake because he's about to die. <laughs> I don't know what anything you just said means, but you're about to kill the frost ball. You did it. <laughs> All right, well, Pip, let me get rid of this glass wall. Now, you can move on to the next challenge, which is the Deadpool Dropper. Oh, Louie, are you silly? Droppers are so easy. That didn't look easy, Pip. We can just cut that out of the video, right? We don't have to include that in. No, nope, we have to leave it in, Pip. But go ahead, do the dropper. Um, Pip, you died very quickly there. Just jump. <laughs> just, just go that way. Oh, um, maybe I should have let you do it yourself. Come on, Louie. This is how a real duck does a dropper. No! All right, Ed. If you need to land in the water. No, I need to land on that command block and turn it off. Okay, well, go ahead then, Pip. You can do it. And you failed. A few moments later. Fourteenth time's a charm. Let's do it, baby. All right, go on, Pip. And you failed. Twenty-first time's a charm. Let's do it. Pip just landed in the water. It's so easy. Take 30. And you did it. Woo! And now I just have to press this command block and I have been teleported. All right. I'm coming up with you as well, buddy. And now you have to do the Squid Games Glass Bridge. Oh, come on. I'm going to get the Squid Games Glass Bridge in first try. Bye, Pip. No, no, no. That didn't count. Let me show you my moves. I'm going to bust the moves. What? <laughs> How did you do that? What can I say, Louie? I am a bit of a Squid Games parkour master. Oh, you are kind of crazy, but whatever, Pip. Come on. You have to get through this laser matrix room to the end. Well, this reminds me of that Mr. Beast challenge where you just have to go dodging under the lasers. Uh, well, Pip, it seems like you're dying to the lasers. <laughs> Happen. I was under the lasers. Well, Pip, you can't actually dodge under lasers in Minecraft. You just have to run. Nope, this is way too unfair. This is impossible. No, it's not. Pip, just run through them. You might take a little bit of damage, but you'll be just fine. All right, well, I did it, and I got a whole bunch of mirrors so I can get these lasers out of here. All right, and wait. Are you using the mirrors as parkour jumps to get over the lasers? Absolutely. Uh, well, whatever, buddy. You've got this. Just keep moving, keep moving. Hey, do this. Ow! Bro, how did you die again? I don't know, Louis. This is really darn hard. All right, but Pip, you know what else is going to be hard? Reflecting this laser through this room. And wait, you're doing easy, it? Easy, lemon squeezy. I'm already done. No, you're not. No, you're not. Keep going. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Uh, Pip, what happened to your voice? Why did you just turn into a, a car salesman? <laughs> a car salesman? What is a car? Uh, the kind of guys that sound like, uh, what do they say? Like, 0% APR. I don't know what that means, Louie. But anyways, I did it. All right, well, go up Deadpool's body, Pip. And get over here because this is your next trap. Oh, sir, yes, sir. This better be the last trap. And speaking of which, how did you do so many traps and also build such an epic Deadpool? I don't know, Pip, but you're going to die. Oh, no, no, no. I got to survive. Uh, well, Pip, you're dead. Come on, I just need to do this slow and steady, like they say, slow and steady does, in fact, win the race. All right, well, be careful, Pip. Make sure to go under the lasers and over the spikes. Oh, that little laser made me burn. Uh, yeah, I guess it did, Pip, but keep going. Come on, you're almost there. One more laser wall. If I make it past this, I win. Uh, yeah, who said you were going to win, Pib? You still need to do the last challenge. No, didn't I win? This looks like the last... Oh, no, you gave me an electro. Yep, you have to fly all the way over here and then land on the target on Deadpool. Oh, well, this should be pretty easy. I may be a flightless bird, but oh, boy, do I know how to use an electro. All right, well, look, you're going up and up and up and... Oh, my God! Uh, did you land on top or did you fall off? Where is this target at? Pip, it's right here. It's right here? Where? Uh, you're flying around it in circles, Pip. Oh, I see <laughs> Pip! You know what, Louie? It might just be better to walk up all the way to this target. Well, Pip, I don't know about you, but it's not going to be that easy to walk up Deadpool. No, this seems pretty easy. And I can just fly up a little bit more like so. 
Okay, well, be careful not to slam into the ground and... Wait, you made it? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, whatever, Pip. Welcome to the end of my Deadpool build. And these diamonds are all yours. And these diamonds aren't going to blow me uh, up? No, they're not. Look, I'll punch you into them. See? You're fine. You're fine. Oh, woohoo! I am... All right, Pip. Well, you made it to the end of my Deadpool build. But whose Deadpool build do you think was the best? Well, we let's think about this. My build did have some really cool traps. But your build was huge. And it had 100 traps. I still don't know how you built this Well, thing. Pip, what's the verdict? Do you think my build is better than yours then? I don't want to say it, but... Yes, Louie, your build was way better than mine. Woohoo! Let's go! I totally just won this build challenge. And the best part is, guys, Pip doesn't even know I cheated using Deadpool and Slash Slash Superhero. Wait, did I say that out loud? Yes, you did, but wait a second, you did what? Uh, nothing, and what are you holding? Bye-bye, Deadpool. Wait, what? Is that a nuclear bomb? No, 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 no! guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed and want to watch more just like this one then make sure to like subscribe and click the next video on your screen let's go let's go